If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look! It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system, a bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal... gear? <laughs> but I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic shagohad pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But the fool's in charge. Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The philosopher's legacy. Haven't you heard of the philosophers? The colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, 
somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. Funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohod project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohod is there too? Of course. Hey! You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait! What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohard. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh... This key... will open that door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back. I'm your host, Sinister Channel 1, and we have got more Metal Gear Solid 3 walkthrough Foxhound run. First things first is we need to replenish our stamina. We're so, so we're going to go to radio frequency 146.45, which is a different frequency, which will allow us to be able to get our stamina back up. You don't have to do this, but if you want to make sure that you can aim steady and true, then you want to do that. So immediately we're going to go into our backpack. We're going to get out the cardboard box. Now the cardboard box, this is really the only time I use it as of right now. And that's only because there's one guard, or not guard, but one scientist 
that uh, you really can't get around here unless you take him out or you use the cardboard box. So just use that little trick, equip it as soon as you're about to pass him, and then you can easily go by. This section is pretty straightforward, and we're going to be moving rather quickly to get through it. So we're going to start to prepare ourselves for the battle with the fear, which is the easiest, well, not the easiest boss fight, but it can take you a little time to get the timing down, but you can finish this boss fight super, super quick, and I'm going to show you how to do that here. But first off, before we exit the building, we're going to go ahead and equip specific camouflage face and uh, actual uniform. So we're going to go with face-wise splitter, and we're also going to go uniform tiger stripe. This is for a specific reason. If you do not have this specific combo, then what you are going to see me do in the warehouse will not work. It was a challenge to go through it time and time again and learn if I could pull it off without taking anyone out. So here, just immediately run in diagonal um, towards where you see me go, and then you're pretty much free to go. You don't have to worry about anything. So next up, we're going to be heading to the outside of this uh, lab. We need to take out the first guard. I tried a lot of different ways uh, to not take him out. Obviously, you can distract him if you have magazines or that such, but we haven't been using any of that, and I don't want to use any of that. So we're going to take him out, unfortunately. Uh, he is a casualty of war, but it is a, a knockout. And we're going to go ahead and get down to the other side. Don't worry about the snake here. Just get up. Go ahead and switch to your stun grenades, as we're going to be using those in the boss fight up ahead. Stick as close to the wall as you can. As soon as you hear the guard say, huh, roll when I do. He just said, huh, that's when you want to roll. You should be able to get by those guys without being seen. Brazilian wandering spider. Soon a most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Your limbs will be paralyzed, your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually your heart will stop beating. Ah, but what fun would that be? Not a fitting death at all. The boss's apprentice. I will give you fear such as you've never experienced before. Come into my web. It is time. For you to feel the fear. So the first thing we're going to do actually is to go ahead and get into your uh, cure menu and take out the poison. I forget to do that here. But we're going to use the revival pill as soon as you have access. This is going to allow you to fake your death, make him think that you're dead. Do not use the revival pill until he turns around. And as soon as he does, go ahead and get your um, stun grenades, throw them at his feet. Immediately turn around, get your AK-47 out, and immediately start firing. You have a very, very short limit time in order to do this. But if you do it correctly, you'll be able to take him out super easy. The fear! The fear! I see it! The fear!
now that that battle is over with, we're going to go ahead and move on. Get your stun grenades out. This is why you needed this specific uniform. Make sure you pick up the spider uniform, of course. And again, I forgot to put the poison out of... Because I did it so many times that for some reason I decided this one I didn't. I don't know why I didn't do it. But anyways, you're still fine. We're going to go ahead and move up. This was one of the toughest challenges I had is to get by all three of these enemies. Do exactly what you see me do. Don't get too close to the railing. Once you get over here, immediately drop down and catch the next one. If you do not do it in the specific timing that I did, the guy on that bottom left right there will see you. Once his head is turned, go ahead and get down. Get into a prone position and start crawling. What we need to do is we need to get the guys above us. The one guy that is above us, he needs to barely be able to see us and make his way towards us or else he'll catch us doing what we're doing up ahead. Huh? So once you see us and you see him moving, that's when you want to go. Use your stun grenade, hold it down, and start running towards this exit here. Wait here and use your stalk. Wait for this guy to turn around. As soon as he does, move forward and just stalk your way. Then you can unequip the stun grenade once you get on here. And then go ahead and head for the exit, and you won't have to worry about messing with anyone or being caught. Took me a while to figure that one out, and again, you know, I didn't do any saves. I didn't save since uh, Granin, uh, so this took quite a while for me to get through on a nice uh, one run. So up ahead, we've got a code up conversation, and we've got one more section to, or should I say, two more sections to stealth. Snake, are you there? Eva. Where are you? In the fortress, in Groznygrad. Dr. Sokolov is here, too. Is he all right? He's fine. Right now he's busy putting the finishing touches on the Shagglehot. Good. That means they haven't killed him. Not yet, anyway. But you better hurry. They've already finished the Phase Two tests. Once the final preparations are complete, they'll have no more use for him. The Colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Snake, do you know where Groznygrad is? Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north, through an underground tunnel. Granin told you? Yeah. He even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake, there's one problem with that route. What problem? The mountain entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. A key? What about the key Granin gave me? That key won't work. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got it. Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the Cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. He's a legendary sniper called The End. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? Don't underestimate him. He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. You can't be serious. The entire forest is on his side. The forest? Stay alert. Yeah. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. Now that we have control, we're going to go ahead and move to the next section. As you can see, my health is still slowly starting to go down, and that is completely my fault because I forgot to take the poison out, but I'll do that as soon as we get to the end. So this section uh, took me another quite a bit of time to figure it out, and once I put it all together, it took me about six or seven times all together to do everything in one single go without saving. So it was pretty nice. Uh, go the route that I do. Uh, timing is very, very crucial and critical during this section. We are going to take this one guy out. He is the choke point. You pretty much have to take him out or else you're going to have to wait for a while. There's going to be a guard up here. Uh, we're able to sneak by him without actually him hearing us, so don't worry about him being heard. Uh, we're going to jump through this little log on the left, and we're going to move straight forward, get up a little bit more, and go ahead and get down. Now, I got down a little early just to be safe, but you can go into maybe stalk mode and be okay. Now, a guard will kind of see you here, but as long as you continually move forward, 
uh, crawling. Do not get up. If you do get up, he will see you, but right now we're at a 50%. So that's it. Up next is the end, and uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and of course, I'll see you next time. Peace out.